Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Uh, we've got a brand new ski for 2023 here. This is the Armada Locator 96. Uh, we're seeing a lot of new skis in this genre recently. Um, this is a new backcountry touring line from Armada. Takes the place of the existing tracer skis or the outgoing tracer skis rather. Um, and I think it's fair to say that these locator skis lean a little bit further towards being true touring skis. Um, pretty impressive construction in these skis. It's, it's a, this is a well-engineered, really well-thought-out ski that's very impressive. Uh, lightweight Karuba wood core. We get a bunch of carbon stringers. You can actually kind of see them uh, through the top sheet in portions of the ski, like right down here in the tail. And then we actually get a a tightenal binding platform too that not only not only is it providing better binding retention it's also kind of giving this portion of the ski a little stronger feel a little bit more vibration damping more stability um, all those things add up to 1336 grams um, i believe this is yeah this is the 171 centimeter length so that's pretty darn light. Um, in our testing, you know, it's it's kind of obviously this is going to be a quick, agile, maneuverable ski. Um, it's light, so that's really adding to that. But we also get some nice rocker up here in the tip. That's increasing its maneuverability and its quickness. Not as much tail rocker back there, but certainly enough to help it kind of kind of swish around behind you in some technical terrain. Um, so super light, super quick, super responsive, but what really impressed our testers on this ski is there's some stability to it as well. Um, those things really come in handy in the backcountry. You know, when, when you're in backcountry terrain in a backcountry situation, uncontrolled environment, you don't really know what you're going to encounter. You know, maybe you got some great snow, maybe you have great conditions, but chances are you're going to find a wind scoured spot or something that's firm, something that requires some stability or demands at least a little bit of strength out of a ski. Um, and I think these have it, you know, they've got a pretty, pretty nice supportive flex pattern there. It's not like it's a noodle by any mean, by any means, excuse me. Um, you know, kind of the one thing that I'll add to that is because they're so light, sure, they'll, they'll get deflected a little bit. You know, if you were to ski this thing back to back with like a Declivity 92, which is a resort ski with metal from Armada, you're going to notice a difference in tip deflection and stuff like that. But for being this light, this maneuverable, this agile, um, it's a pretty darn strong ski too. So kudos to Armada for, for really putting an impressive build together. Um, a lot of the conversations in backcountry touring skis or, or side country touring skis lately is what binding would you put on it? Um, I think this is an interesting conversation with these. You know, they're certainly light enough that you could put just a true tech binding on here um, and, and have it be something that you pretty much exclusively use in the backcountry. I think that's that's very reasonable. If you're looking for a dedicated touring ski, this is a great choice. And I think it's a better choice than the outgoing tracer skis for that dedicated touring, a little lighter, a little better shape for backcountry terrain, stuff like that. You could put something like a shift on it. Um, some people don't mind the extra weight when touring. It's not quite as efficient. Um, you are, you know, you're lugging a little bit extra weight up the hill and it's a little clunkier than a true tech binding. Um, but you, you could go that route. You know, Armada makes a, or, or they have a Armada branded shift binding. So you could do that. And then yeah, I'm not going to tell you not to ski it in the resort, but I don't really think it's a 50, 50 ski. To me, it feels more like a, a 75, 25 ski that's leading more towards touring or even like an 80-20 ski. Um, and, and like I said, this could be a 100% touring ski too. I think as you move up in width in the locator line, you kind of get more resort capabilities. Um, there is one narrower than this, so we're not the narrowest, lightest ski. Um, but I think when you compare it to the wider models, 
those might be a little more appropriate as a 50-50 ski, where I think touring is really the, <clears throat> excuse me, the highlighting characteristic of this Locator 96. So fantastic new skis from Armada. It's a very impressive new line, um, and, and it's, a, it's a trendy category of skis right now. So great job to Armada once again. Um, Locator 96, let us know if you have any questions about it. And we'll see you out there in the backcountry in the skin track.